Hello guys, I'm very excited to share with you this new research and model from Facebook which is called as multi-token prediction. In this video, we are going to install this model locally and then I will also show you a working demo of why this model is so unique and so important and I believe that various models in the future will be based upon the research and the architecture of this model. So before we install this model and see it, what exactly it does, let's have a quick look at behind the scene architecture of this model. The thing is that all of these large language models such as OpenAI's GPT, Llamas, Google's Gemini, Mistral and various other, all of them are trained with a next token prediction loss. But in this model, multi-token prediction, Facebook has suggested that training models to predict multiple future tokens at once results in higher sample efficiency. More specifically, at each position in the training corpus, they have asked the model to predict the following n tokens using n independent output heads operating on top of a shared model trunk, as you can see in this architectural diagram. Considering multi-token prediction as an auxiliary training task, they have measured improved downstream capabilities with no overhead in training time for both code and natural language models. The model is increasingly useful for large model sizes and keep its appeal when training for multiple epochs. Gains are specially pronounced on generative benchmarks like coding where their model consistently has outperformed strong baseline by several percentage points. Their 13 billion parameter model solves 12% more problems on human eval and 17% more on MBPP than comparable next token models. Now, if you look at this diagram closely, what is happening here is at the top section of this diagram. During training, the model predicts four future tokens at once by means of a shared trunk and four dedicated output heads. During inference, they have employed only the next token output head. Optionally, the other three heads may be used to speed up inference time. And in the bottom section, multi-token prediction improves pass at one on MBPP code task as I mentioned earlier, significantly so as model size increases. Error bars are confidence intervals of 90% computed with bootstrapping over dataset samples. As an additional benefit, models trained with four token predictions are up to three times faster at inference even with larger batch sizes and I will also show you how to do that. This model, if you go to the Hugging Face model card, comes in four variants. First is a baseline model with 7 billion, 200 billion one with uh, so there are 200 billion tokens, then there is a multi-token prediction model which is n is equal to 4 and this is what we are going to test today. And then there is a 1 trillion token variance, there are 2. Okay. So that said and done, let's go to the local system where we will be installing and we'll be playing around with it. Before that, I want to give a huge shout out to Mass Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website and also I am going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Let me take you to my VM. This is where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and this is a GPU card of 48 GB of VRAM which I am using. Let me clear the screen. First up, I would highly suggest that you install uh, Kondas to keep everything nice, simple and separate. I will give you the command. So this is the command which you need to use. I already have created it to save the time. So I'm just going to activate it. And you can see that now it is activated. Okay, so that is done. Let me also go to the MTP directory, I just have created it just to keep it empty and straight just to show you that there is nothing here. Now we need to install some of the prerequisites, which let me quickly show you which prerequisites you need to install. So you need to install Torch, Transformers and Hugging Face Hub 
and then you would need to install some of the auxiliary packages like fair scale fire sentence fees and um, king face hub i already have done them just to save time so i'm just showing you so that you if you are following along you will be able to do it once that's done simply run this hugging face hub which we already have run and then logging to hugging face in order to log into hugging face all you need to do is to run this command and then it is going to ask you the token which you can obtain from hugging face website and then just supply the token and you will be logged in i am already logged in but let me log in again that doesn't matter as you can see it is asking me the token i have given it a token just press y here and the login is successful as you can see here okay let me clear the screen so up till now all good and fine let me take you back to the model because we have to download a few of the files so if you go up and go to files then you would need to go here and then there are two ways you can either download the whole hugging face repo by just git clone and then the whole path of it and i will also show you shortly or you can simply go and by using wget you can download this file and this file if you want to download individual files there are two ways either you could click on this file and grab the uh, link from download button and use wget or you could use hugging face command for it and let me take you back to the terminal and show you how you can do this with the hugging face commands so for that you would need to launch your python interpreter and then you need to import snap download and then just give the following command here let me paste it and that is going to download the whole repo for you you don't have to worry about it so i already have downloaded it because as you saw there the size is 27 gig for the model i don't want to waste your time just waiting for it so what will happen is that once you run that snap download command it is going to download it in your local home cache directory somewhere here so in your home directory in the dot cache hugging face up model that is a default so if i press enter and show you the files here this is the whole directory i have already downloaded for you so that is done now if you don't want to do that you want to individually download files you can use wget command something like this remember to uh, use your hugging face token here here so but this is a very cumbersome method you would have to download individual files the other method is good enough okay so now as you can see that we have downloaded the model we have already downloaded the files one of the good thing about is that facebook has shared us with this example completion let me now take you to my vs code where i will show you this example completion as what exactly we are trying to do here so this is my vs code in this one uh, we are just importing some of the libraries and then we are defining the model which is a checkpoint file we are defining some of the tokenizer and other hyperparameters, and then we are grabbing our checkpoint file we are generating it and this is the important bit where but our we are specifying our prompt in this prompt we are asking this multi uh, token completion one to complete this fizzbus function for us and also the main for us so when we run the inference what this model is going to do it is going to generate multi token and then it is going to merge it and give us the response and then this is a simple usual stuff where it is generating the output and then printing it out and that is what that example output is doing and that is what we are going to run with torch run let me take you back to my terminal let's clear the screen sorry clear there was a typo here there you go now just spend some time there and see what is happening 
So this is the torch run command which is used for distributed training. First up, we are specifying the parameter like uh, n proc per node. So this specifies that one process should be running per node or it means GPU. I already have one GPU. So I have just specified one. Then this is our example completion PY. This is the model which we are using. And if you want, you can even use a one trillion one which I showed you on the model card up to you. And then this is a tokenizer path. And then we have specified max sequence length and max batch size. Sequence length means the number of words or characters in a sentence or text that a model can process at once. Whereas batch size is the number of sentences or text that a model can process together as a single unit before moving on to the next group. Okay, so enough talk. Let me run it. It is going to run it. And you see it has specified the DDP with size 1. DDP is distributed data parallel, which means the, how many GPUs we have. And so we have just one. So it is running it with the size 1. And it has we have selected one model. So it is just going with the one size in the pipeline. It is initializing it. And then it is going to run the inference. So let's wait for it to come back. It should not take too long. And you can see that it's showing us that first time it has taken around 43 seconds to load the model and there you go it is doing the completion so it has completed our okay so it is done let me go up so if you remember if i take you back to the vs code this is a fizzbiz one which we were asking it and you see it is in the fizzbiz definition there is nothing there so once it has generated it it has generated the full function and then also the main function and then it has merged it and given us the full response so this is what the beauty of this uh, multi-token prediction model is where it is showing us a new way which is faster and better llm now as i said very very early days for this research but already the outputs and the performance is quite promising and i am um, expecting that there will be a lot of models on the basis of it so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it i will drop the link to this model card in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching